and we are back once again with Konosuba Fantastic Days. Today we are continuing part 3, chapter 10. So last time, uh, Carla became the Succubus Queen and just transformed. And so it's up to Laliza and Kazuma. And I think they're getting the other people of the village and the rest of the Konosuba group together to fight Carla. But we'll see how that plan goes. Like, she seemed to be doing some pretty decent damage. Uh, yeah, let's go with this. Yeah, I don't know how this raid or boss battle is going to go. Because it seemed like Carlos was pretty unstoppable. But then again, this game makes the enemy so powerful, but then by the power of friendship, they're able to take down the enemy. Which is like, I mean, I get it. But it's kind of BS. It's like I hope somebody gets a power up to be able to fight her instead of using power of friendship. Right, next story part. A final showdown with this succubus queen, part one. Carla, who became the succubus queen, destroyed the building with her whip, and Aqua's group came running after sensing something strange. Kazuma! Kazuma? What are you doing after disappearing out of nowhere? Ugh! Smell! What is this? I don't want to get any closer because it stinks of demons. <laughs> it, they put smell instead of, I guess, sniff? <laughs> like, why would she just say out loud, smell? Like, that's so weird. Instead of going... That's harsh to say after coming out of nowhere. Do you want to get trained with my whip? Training? Oh my god, both these girls. <laughs> uh, they both have the same thought. Darkness is foaming at the mouse to probably have a master. And uh, Shelly is like, oh man, all the scenarios that I can think about with this situation. Kazuma? Kazuma? The evacuation is complete. Snap out of it. And get up! Did she actually use the sleep spell on him again? Like, why is he back on the ground? Last time, he was running away from Carla with Laliza. And now he's back on the ground? I don't know. That doesn't really make sense. Unless he got knocked down after the blast that the whip caused. Uh, uh, yeah. Fun. Sorry. Well, who's that pink-haired girl? I, well, I'm just an adventurer passing by. Huh? Sniff sniff. You smell differently from the demon over there. Yeah, I mean, one's not as powerful as the other. So, they don't smell the same, but I guess she still smells a hint of demon. That's a rude thing to say to an adventurer who came to help. On top of that, this isn't the time to be talking about that. Yeah, would you please stop ignoring me? Do you want a taste of my whip? Hmm. That's what I want! Oh my god, she has to be this horny during a life or death battle. Huh? You want to taste? Uh, that's... <laughs> I like how Carla's getting flustered. 
Like, she's putting on a tough act of being a dummy mommy dominatrix. And here's Darkness actually wanting it. And she's like, uh, really? I wasn't expecting anyone to want to be my dog and be whipped. It's incredible. Such a great plan to agitate her. <laughs> and Laliza thinks that this is a smart move of like darkness like darkness isn't actually into it that is trying to play up to her but no darkness is actually wanting it oh but that's funny well it's just her preference is she the one who attacked the town since everyone has been evacuated let me use the explosion magic here I'll let you taste my God Requiem as well. This is bad. If things get worse, Carla will resent me even more. On top of that, if everything that happened until now is unveiled to everyone, at the nape, freeze! Ah! Wait, what are you doing? Chill out. We're not going to be safe if we head on. It would be best to run away first. Okay, I was trying to figure out what was wrong with this sentence. Because it felt weird when I said it. But he says, we're not going to be safe if we head on. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be... It wouldn't be safe if we fight her head on. Because that's how that makes sense. Or like, take her head on. Something like that. You can't escape from me! Wait! She flew up! Now! Megami! Minimize the damage to the town! Okay, I am a little confused at what happened. But I'm guessing they ran away super fast and carla is like okay in legs i can't keep up but let me fly up in the sky and i'll be able to see them and then fly down kazuma is now commanding megamin to blow her up in the sky which is actually really smart surprisingly leave it to me explosion Ah! Oh my god, that scream. Good! Move quickly! Turning my back on demons. I'm ashamed as a goddess. That strange pink-haired girl is also missing. In the last sentence, they put that strange pink girl also missing. Yeah, for the bottom sense, they forgot is also missing. Loliza, she escaped well at some point. I need to talk about Carla later. Okay, uh, these two sentences feel messed up as well. It says Loliza, she escaped well at some point. So I don't know if that is correct. I'm pretty sure it's just supposed to be, she escaped at some point. I'm pretty sure the bottom one is supposed to be, I need to talk to her about Carla later. Or maybe I need to talk to Carla later? To like try and convince her to stop being the succubus queen? One of those two. That demon's whip, it destroyed the town. Yes, she's the enemy, but her powers are terrifying. Also, are we just gonna skim over the fact that she might have just taken Megamine's explosion and survived it? Megamine's explosions are known to kill most enemies and if not incapacitate like even the strongest ones like Daniel and Charlie, they're not even saying the fact that if she was like super injured or if she was barely injured by that attack. 
Our town. Break. Shelly. I'll help with the reconstruction. So, just let me know. Yeah, sending Aqua would be a great idea. You wouldn't guess it, but she's a professional at construction and repairs. She even repaired the walls of Axel. <laughs> I am quite good at it. Really? Yes. That does cheer me up a bit. Thank you. Still... It's quite uneasy. That demon. She said her next objective was Axel, right? Is it Axel after break? If she's targeted Axel, it looks unrelated to the Devil King's army. Because Axel is for novice adventures. But, if it's related to demons, something bad will definitely happen. The goddess's hunch is telling me, let's return and prepare for that. I guess we must quickly head to Axel by carriage. I will tell the coachman. Okay, I'll go with you. What's going on with everyone? They're more enthusiastic than usual. Why do you sound so calm, Kazuma? Please, come up with a sneaky plan like usual. Yes. Isn't it your expertise to come up with a sneaky method the opposing demon will be sick of, Kazuma? <laughs> Did she just call him a demon? Because why would she say opposing demon? I mean, maybe that could be referring to Carla as an opponent? But it makes him seem like he's a demon trying to fight another demon. Would you please stop saying anything causes misunderstanding? Well, you're right. Since we have to defeat her. Defeat her. It is true that she's certainly causing havoc all around. But there is a reason for her. Yeah, I mean, it's like she does have a reason to be mad, but she doesn't have a reason to take it out on Break, on Axel, on everyone else. Like, the only people that she should be getting revenge on is Kazuma and Dust and the Succubus Shop. Those are the only three places she should be attacking. But she wants to destroy everything precious, quote-unquote, to Kazuma. Which is like his towns, the places he likes to eat, the people he loves. So she's taking it way overboard. I wish there was a way for Carla to gain a clear understanding. He is gazing into the distance and lost in thought. What's wrong with him? He's at an age where he thinks it's cool to make such a face. While Kazuma was drowning in his thoughts, the party hurried over to Axel. Alright, so we have to go all the way to 5. More wind. Yeah, I do wonder how this is gonna end. Are they really gonna do the basic thing of just reverting Carla back? Or is there going to be a much greater purpose? Because I feel like each of these parts should be building up to something. 
like one big conflict. Like in the first part, it was basically building up the Axel Hearts, and it was also building up Daniel and Charlie. In the second part, it's like Daniel and Charlie kind of took a background to like the Mel subplot. It's like they came at the very end to steal Mel's power, but aside from that, they really didn't do much to like build up that story for them. They were just trying to find an alternative way to use lightning as a power source. So I really don't know, like... Like, I mean, Carla was the main through line of this entire part, but I don't exactly feel like she was the best, like, person to build up. Like, I forget if she was built, like, a tiny bit up. At the end of part two, or if she was built up in part three. Like, because I think it's a bad thing to kind of like just build someone up a tiny bit, like all throughout parts. Like, how, how should I say it? It's like Carla only started out in part three. If she was introduced somewhere super early in part two and at least shown to really like Kazuma and then it's like he kept doing stuff that's kind of what happened in the beginning of part three but I don't feel like it happened enough for like all of this to happen <laughs> Like, I really wish my idea of Daniel and Charlie were also in this more. Like, they only appeared for the golem bit, which is really weird. <laughs> They're basically like a Team Rocket villain at this point. Kind of just joke characters. Like, I was hoping they would recruit her. So then the... They could have like an even stronger army or whatever you want to call them. Because they have the golems, they have trolls. Daniel and Charlie are super strong trolls. And then they would have like bats and then the succubus queen on their side. So I don't know, that seems like it would have been a decent idea. Because then she would have actually had someone backing her up and kind of spinning lies in her ears being like, Kazuma's just trash, he doesn't care about you, and stuff like that. Alright, let's do this. A final showdown with the Succubus Queen, Part 2. After traveling all night in a carriage, Kazuma and the others gathered the adventures of Axel as soon as they arrived. I'm kind of surprised that Kazuma and his group have this much clout. That they can just instantly call all the adventures and they're like, huh, I wonder what Kazuma's wanting about. Or maybe it's just all his friends. Like, you know, all nine of those adventures? Well, I mean, there's also like the original characters for this game, so they probably also have a part to play. That's what's happened. So Axel is her next target. So, there's such a thing as a succubus queen, not to mention the incredible power. 
Oh man, I forgot Dust at least knows the important secret details that he leaves out for the rest of the group. What are you going to do? There are only novice adventures in Axel. And with the urgent quest before. I hate this point of Axel's a novice town. When it's like this town gets just as hard quest as any other place. They get blood fangs, dire bears, giant bats, mega slimes, and giant toads. And unless all those creatures are novice creatures, then I don't see why they keep calling this town a novice town. Because I guess it's where people spawn or come for easy quest. But all these guys should be somewhat experienced adventures. What are you talking about? That's why we came back. She's that crazy arc wizard. Okay, I don't exactly know. Is this right or wrong? I'm pretty sure most people call wizards like arch wizards. And I'm pretty sure people have also called Megamine an arch wizard. So do people say arc wizard? Or is that a subtitling error? I don't know. How despairing. I could prove my power to you right now. Wait, stop fighting in this place. How was the break? I'm guessing she means, how was break? <laughs> Instead of saying, how was the break? She's like asking us how our break was. Reconstruction is currently underway. Other adventurers are also pitching in, so it would be difficult for them to come to Axel's reinforcements. It would be good to have a bit more reinforcement. It looks like I wasn't late. I'm guessing this is a Mitsugiri? Everyone! Calm down. You can all relax now that I have arrived. Mitsugiri! I returned because I heard it was an urgent situation. I asked Claire Mare and Pio to help with the restoration of Break. I have no idea who these characters are. If these are new characters for this game, or if these are some light novel slash manga characters. That we just haven't seen in the anime. I just made some little donations with millions of heiress because I have nothing to do at this time. It will help for now. Or no wait, I think Claire Meyer or MPO may be his fangirls slash teammates that he goes out with. The one in his like original art. And that one in the episode where they were like cheering on Mitsugiri when he tried to take on Kazuma. As expected from Mitsugiri, so reliable. He is getting annoying by the day. Hey, Kazuma, come here for a moment. Dust? What? You want to run away? That's not true. If we run away now, we won't protect what we must. <laughs> I'm guessing they're talking about the succubus shop. What we must protect? The shop! Every man left in Axel are worried about the shop in their hearts. Do you call that worrying? Well, it is certainly important. The Succubus Queen. It's Carla, isn't it? If Carla goes on a rampage in Axel, that shop might become exposed to the female adventurers. If the shop gets exposed, it will be gone! Right. Even if the damage to the Axel gets restored, it won't matter if we can't use the shop anymore. 
We must have to stop that, no matter what. Okay, the last line I know for sure is seems messed up to me. But yeah, on the top they use the Axel instead of just saying Axel. But for the bottom one, they say we must have to stop her no matter what. For the bottom sentence, they could have said we have to stop that no matter what. Get rid of the must. It's it's either get rid of must or get rid of have to. And then both those sentences can work, but I kind of feel like it doesn't flow right with both of them. It was quite clever, considering it came from your head, Dust. You're so reliable at times like this. What did he say? He literally just said the basic plan of what Kazuma is saying. We must stop her. Like, what? He literally didn't say anything. He... If anything, he's just agreeing with you, and you're calling him a genius, or that he's clever. This is so weird. I really wish I knew what they were saying in Japanese. That's a compliment, right, brother? Of course. That shop is the dream of the men. We have to protect it. After all, it's best for both Axel and the shop to avoid fighting with Carla. Should we talk to Laliza? Great. Now is the time for action. Let's go. Sato Kazuma, where are you going? We're going to talk about something important from now on. This is important as well. Achoo! Whoa! What's this? It doesn't feel like I caught a cold. I'm guessing this is the anime trope of where if somebody's talking about someone else, that person will know because they're sneezing. Being like, whoa! Somebody's talking about me. Except in this particular case, she doesn't know the trope. Since she's probably never watched an anime. Screech! Screech! Yes. Thank you. I'm fine. I'm so weak when the sun's up. Screech! Screech! Fine, fine. It's better not to overdo it. Since the other bats are resting, why don't you join them? Screech! Screech! Sweet dreams. When the night has come, with this power, Kazuma... Without realizing that Kazuma and his party are talking about her, Carla and her bats were taking a rest to prepare for the attack on Axel. Yeah, she didn't realize that they were talking about her and that they're coming up with a plan for her. It's usually whenever someone is saying someone else's name, and since those are the only two that know her name, unless her old co-workers are talking about her, being like, what's Carla planning? Or stuff like that. But yeah, that was an interesting start. And I hope it ramps up. Like, I don't know if the final battle will be in Axel or in the outskirts of Axel. But I hope you guys are enjoying Konosuba Fantastic Days. If you guys are, please make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Like my Twitter, my Twitch, my YouTube, my DLI, my TikTok. My Kick, Rumble, Odyssey, and Daily Motion. Make sure to check out my second YouTube channel. And like and comment on all my videos. And even join my Discord. There you can stay up to date with everything I choose to do. Where's my streams, videos, or anything else. Yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye.